As we inch closer to May, Rhode Island wedding vendors say this was supposed to be their prime time, the start of their busy season. But they say due to the coronavirus, there is no business and some are struggling to find financial assistance due to their line of work. Ivy This News reporter Courtney Carter spoke to a local vendor who's trying to take matters into her own hands. I spoke to a local makeup artist who started a group to bring vendors together across the state. She says to figure out what they're going to do to keep their head above water financially. For most people, a wedding, special birthday, or anniversary only happens once. But for Rhode Island event planners and vendors, it's their livelihood. And makeup artist Allison Barbera says they are a group of workers that can't work from home. It does feel as though we've been overlooked. Um, there's been a lot of mention of helping couples or mentioning couples rescheduling their weddings, and that's great, and they should there should be a focus on them. But there hasn't been much talk about what is this doing to the wedding industry? What is this doing to all of the wedding vendors who this is their livelihood? So Barbara took matters into her own hands. She created a group of event vendors such as florists, event planners, and photographers called the Rhode Island Coalition of Wedding Vendors. Right now, it's almost at 500 members. They wrote a collective letter to all state representatives and Governor Raimondo saying their industry needs help. I'm able to get some unemployment um, and I've applied for PPP. I, I'm waiting on that. She says the wedding industry contributes to the state's revenue. Most people, though, are independent contractors or seasonal workers and they're struggling to be approved for PPP or loan assistance. The problem with PPP is that once you get the loan, you have eight weeks to spend it. 75% of that has to be spent on payroll. The other 25 can be spent on mortgage interest, rent, things like that. If we, if I received a loan today for eight weeks from now, I don't have much payroll because we don't have weddings. And say they just want to be considered in the conversation. I've applied for everything I can get my hands on, and it's, it's just a waiting game. Now, a Massachusetts member has also started her own group for vendors in the Bay State. Barbara says that not only will this year be difficult, 2021 will be difficult as well as most weddings are planned at least a year ahead. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.